Hello everyone. Welcome, Welcome to, to the first episode of Community. I am Rohan Ingole and I am Vice Chairperson of Alumina Cell. I am Asmi Jaisudkar and I am the Coordinator of Alumina Cell. I am Vibhuti Kanwar, the Student Representative. So this is the core committee of Alumina Cell. So the first question that I have got is, could you please walk us through your journey leading up to your current position? Hmm. So my journey started in Alumina Cell last year when I was a member in the design department and uh, eventually I didn't do so but eventually I started working and then I went into parallel leadership. I was not even going to apply for parallel leadership but eventually our previous core committee they kind of indirectly told me to apply. I did and then parallel leadership maybe we did Nexus. It went really well, I hosted the Nexus and after the interviews, yeah, I became the chef person. So it was a very interesting journey, full of learning, very fun. And yeah, yeah, I'm super grateful for that. So, my first personal question is Could you describe your typical day as a core member? It is very much hectic, guys. Come on. So, but I woke up very like 10 am in the morning, and then I firstly I came to work from the college. Then, first, I get call of Zaim Harden only. <laughs> And then she will tell me that some alumni is come, came to college and you have to go there because I am in the internship right now and I can't come. So I will go to the principal college, principal's cabin, then I will uh, do all ho hospitality work of that uh, alumni and uh, then Zai will come, then we will work on the database, then we will uh, work, work with the highest, uh, we ha have hired interns as well, then we will work with interns and uh, while walking in the college, I will almost meet at least my 20 members of Alumina Cell. They will <coughs> talk with me like uh, an amiable bond, not as a vice chairperson, but uh, actually we have no such hierarchy between us. So uh, that's it and then I go to home once again. I have a communication with Alumina Association about the database regarding how much we have collected and uh, we have uh, College overall college development meetings uh, every Saturday. So for that as well, we have to communicate with the alumni okay. My first question is: Are there any memorable or funny moments that stand out from the time in yourself? So the most memorable, I would say, the time that which I spent with my core team, like Srishti, Sriram, and Aryan. So yeah, so I spent a very much good time with them. Like from starting chatting with them on online, then coming in cell and interacting with them in face to face. That was the most memorable and funny moment ever. Okay. So my first question is, how do you see the future of this cell evolving? So first of all, I'd like to mention the members that we have. Uh, they are, to be honest, very impromptu to all the activities that are happening in the cell and the opportunities that our principal Dr. S. Dhure has opened for us. They have been very lenient and given us really more scope to expand and the alumni database that we have and the uh, approach with the association, the leniency that we have with them has really given us more scope to evolve and I believe next year's parallel core, next year's core and coming year's core, I guess we will do I just forgot to mention one thing that uh, whatever the outside work out of the college is like printing cinematic, printing certificates and all these things, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So our day basically is with multiple things, a lot of a lot of things. So it it is not constricted to one area, but coordinating with the alumni association, the principal serve. Uh, within the members, solving any interpersonal conflicts that arise in the committee. 
making some decisions, strategizing about the college. So a lot of things are involved, and it's just it is quite fun. In fact, it is a bit hectic, but it is very fun. And when we think like uh, now we have done a lot of work, and now we have to focus on ourselves as well, and we start studying. Just we flip the page and we <coughs> remind continuously that this work is pending, this work is pending. We have to do all these things. It so, alumni cell is basically constantly <laughs> on the mind, twenty four seven. So my second question is, if you could switch roles with someone else in the cell for the day, who would it be and why? I would like to switch roles with someone from the alumni association. Uh, the kind of work they do uh, to make Sydney better. and coordinating with us uh coordinating with principal sir uh it, it is a lot and the pedigree of it is so much that uh, there are a lot of things to do plus uh, they have a lot of prestigious alumni and we are also in connect with them but being a part of the association will definitely uh, be more helpful and i can help the alumni sell more in that way What is your favorite part about working with your team in the cell? I would say our team members who are very much enthusiastic and uh, whatever we tell them, they just uh, they analyze first what work is given. But yeah, they do honestly whatever the work is dedicated to them. The most important thing that I came to Alumina Cell is because our previous coach who helped me a lot for. Um, uh increasing my uh, communication skills de- developing my communication skills and uh, uh they gave me confidence in me they <coughs> told me that you are worth of being a uh, uh, core member of alumina cell and, uh, yeah that is the favorite part about working with team alumina okay. so my next question is tell us about the time when you and your team selected a big achievement so the first achievement of big achievement i will say when we had a alumni talk with budhi goel sir that was our first event and i am i am am very proud to say that we celebrated it because uh, that was the first event that i we tried to manage crowd of more than 150 people and we also what crowd was who were more of engaged and what few curiously asking questions to our alumni that was the first moment i will say okay so my question is tell us more about your most embarrassing moment within the cell if you are willing to share okay so it is not as such but when i was in the parallel course last year we were responsible for the alumni nexus and in that i had the opportunity to interview avikas choudhary sir the former reliance president a uh, reliance geo president and in that uh, in the beginning of the interview i kind of fumbled and i restarted the interview from the beginning So I guess that was the embarrassing part. But after that, my interview went well, and everyone really appreciated me for the same. So yeah, that's it. Yes. The last question that we have is, uh, QD. If you could invite a fictional character to join the cell, who would it be and why? It is actually an open for all question. You want to start? Yeah, sure. I guess I would invite Klaus Michaelson from the originals because. Now that's more like it. He's the person who gets what it he wants. So if he's in the cell, we would be able to achieve anything that we want without any restrictions. <laughs> without any restrictions, that's it. I would say. I would like to invite uh, Michael Scott from Office. I declare bankruptcy. Uh. <laughs> because he is such a personality that uh, we kind of all four of us are very professionally working but if michael scott comes in alumni cell then i'm sure it will be a lot of fun even for us and for the committee members we all love michael scott yes absolutely main captain america ko add karunga because uh, captain america always uh, like apni jaan pe khel ke uh, logo ko bachata hai so like wo apne uh, <laughs> जो भी बेस्ट है यू कैन गिव फॉर एलिमिना सेल टू डेवलप यस टेल अस मोर अबाउट एलिमिना नेक्सस सो एलिमिना नेक्सस 2024 इज हैपनिंग ऑन द 9th एंड 10th ऑफ फरवरी वी विल बी हैविंग एलिमिना 
workshops, panel discussions, various competitions, and our the the aim of Alumni Nexus is basically to bridge the gap between our alumni base, who are industry experts, professionals, and they have something to give to the students. They have their experiences, their professional knowledge. So that is what we are aiming for in Nexus, so that the students also develop themselves professionally. See you all on 9th and 10th of February for.